So, I don't know how much time we have left before my camera goes. So, I'm going to try to make this quick. Hey, guys. Just here. Um, welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you've been here before and you haven't subscribed, why? <laughs> and if you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe um, this video. Of course, only if you like it and subscribe. Even if you don't, I don't really care. Um, and really all that does is when I upload new videos, you guys will be the first people to know. Some people always say, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It's more than just trying to get your numbers up. It's really just, you guys are the first ones to see these videos. Um, so I know on my phone, so-and-so upload a new video and I'm like, oh my God. So I go and I go watch and I'm like, oh my God. And it's like, it's only been up for like three hours. And I feel like I'm VIP. So subscribe so you guys can see when I upload my videos. Um, we're just going to do a hair update today. And that's all this is going to be. Um, not really much, but I just a couple minutes and we're just going to talk about hair and such. Um, so basically I am one, I big chopped, um, a big chop a year ago and um, I got my last relaxer a year and a half ago so I'm a year and a half post relaxer and a year post big chop and I am pretty excited um, about my hair I really never like when you get in the first like six months and you see everybody's hair and it's growing like you really think it's going to take forever for you to get there and the thing is if you, you do what you're supposed to do with your hair it'll grow um and you'll be surprised like the thing that i had to really learn um about my hair and you know tracking my growth and things like that is that one don't obsess about it like it's so easy to obsess over your hair and you know to grow an inch to grow half an inch like oh my god and you don't want to do that because you take the fun out of it that and comparing you do not want to compare i was watching um uh patricia bright um yesterday last night before i was going to sleep and she was talking about how comparison is the thief of joy and that is so true like you never want to come you can compare yourself with people who've been on their journey for three years and four years and even if you have been and your hair doesn't look like theirs so what you know, this is your hair and this is your own personal thing that you're doing for you. Don't compare yourself to somebody else. You don't know what they're doing. You don't know if it's real or not. Like on Instagram and Tumblr and everything, everything looks real. But we're so caught up in um, like I'm making everything look perfect and everything has to, you know, be put in place. I'm not going to do that. Like I'm not, I'm not perfect. So I'm not going to, you know, portray a perfect life. Sometimes my videos are fuzzy. So what? Sometimes, you know, things happen and you can't control everything in life and everything is not going to be perfect. So, and the more you force yourself to try to live up to everybody else's standards, you're not going to be happy with what you have. So the moment I was like, you know what? Pause, Jess, your hair is beautiful. When I stopped doing that, I was like, wow, like my hair really grew. And I just became so much more in love with my hair and my own process and my own, um, I guess, milestones. And, and then when I started looking at people who had longer hair, I was like, wow, theirs is pretty too. Their beauty and what they're doing has no effect on you. Like, it doesn't mean that yours isn't beautiful. It doesn't mean that yours isn't pretty. And I think that's what we do a lot, especially as women, is, like, we look at somebody else and we're like, man, they look great. And because we don't look like that, we think that we're not great or we're not pretty. And it's like, that's not true. You know, a rainbow is pretty just like a flower is pretty. And there, you know, the rainbow's beauty doesn't take away from the flower's beauty. And the flower's beauty doesn't take away from the rainbow's beauty. They're both beautiful in their own right. So she's a rainbow and you're a flower. Like, it doesn't matter. It, like, you can appreciate another person's success and another person's, um, I guess, beauty without having to take away from your own. So that is one thing that I definitely learned over this process. And it became less about hair and more about me. Um, and that was, I think, one of the biggest things that I learned about this whole journey was to accept me for me. And this is who I am. And, you know, yeah, there is this 
as long as the wind and it's curly and refined or juicy and I just wish and it's like okay but yours is nice too you know yours is healthy yours is strong it's soft it's managed you know so don't compare yourself to other women I think that was one of the big things that I learned about this whole process um and and my hair um, another thing I learned was that it's not a magic tool or it's not a magic product or it's not a magic regimen, you know, and it's not vitamins or, you know, those things can help, but it's not like one thing that will make your hair grow, you know, and I talked about this in my other video when I was talking about, um, like the number one hair growth rule. And really that's one of the things that I've learned, like it's all about length retention, so go watch that video and I talk about length retention. I talk about how all the things that you do in hair care really just boil down to length retention. And, you know, so it was really, and I have another video where we go back to the basics and that's really what it is. It's taking the basics and taking everything that you've learned and just applying it to your hair. And, a, and it does more than that. Like you'd be surprised how much of your everyday life affects your hair. And diet and exercise and drinking water and it's like you you know you start out on you know calling it a hair journey whatever but it becomes so much more than that it becomes you know a fitness and it becomes you know making sure that you're eating right and all these different things like I started doing because of my hair like I started you know eating healthier drinking more water going to the gym taking vitamins you know all these things and it be it becomes so much more than just your hair. It becomes you overall. You know, my skin got clearer. I lost, like, how much weight did I have? I lost so much weight. Um, I was, like, 180, and now I'm, like, 150 or something like that. Um, no, I was 180, and now I'm, like, 155. And I haven't been 155 since I was in high school. Um, I'm, 20, I'm 25 and a half years old. So it's been a while since I've, you know, been 155 and my goal has always been 145. So I'm, I have 10 more pounds to go, but that's cause I'm into the gym, but you know, that's, that's, that's good. And I'm proud of myself because it's like, yo, you've done so much more than just hair. And I think that is really something to, to be proud of. So yeah, don't obsess about it. You know, be who you are, be the best you you can be and realize this is going to take you a lot further than hair. That's what I learned in my past, you know, year and a half being natural is that it's become so much more than hair. And I still love my hair. Like my mom gets annoyed at me. She's like, you's always in your hair, spending time on your hair. I don't understand. You always con like, what are you doing? And it's like, I do. I spend a lot of time on my hair because that's what I'm passionate about. You know, um, if makeup is, is like it's I like it but it's not my passion you know so um like nails I like it but it's not my passion you know my passion is my hair I love it I love hair and getting to know how it works and getting to know um what makes it strong what upsets it things like that and that's really where it is for me so I'm always trying to learn more and more things, you know, about my hair. And I try to take what I learned and, you know, give it to you and pay it forward. Because, you know, my friends are always like, I don't understand what you do with your hair. How come your hair is growing? And I can't believe you have so much hair on your head. And I'm like, I, I do a lot with it. You know, I take my time with it. And you don't have to, you know, do everything I do. But there are some certain things that I feel like need to be done if you're going to try to grow your hair out. Um, and we're in this natural state. Now, there are some other friends that I'm like, yo, your makeup is bomb. You know, what do you do? But as far as um, hair, I mean, this is this is this is what I do. This is what I like. So um, have I learned anything else this far other than she going to do what she want to do? I swear I will put in, um, you know, Bantu knots and twists and things. And I'd be like, yo, when I take this out the next day, girl, you going to be fly oh my gosh I take it out and I'm like okay so basically what you're telling me is that nothing I did just worked okay here I see you I see you boo square up fight me you disrespectful right now like you really disrespectful really I gave myself a trim last week um my first trim that I've had since I cut my hair and big chopped I haven't cut my hair since then so um I, I cut off like an inch of hair uh because it needed to go yeah this year and a half has been pretty cool 
Um, if I do say so myself, this is my second time going natural. And this time I am dedicated. Like I am never putting another perm in my hair again. So if you are on your own hair care journey and you feel like it's not working, take the time to go back to the basics. So go back to my other video. So there's actually a whole series that I'm doing where I'm talking about hair care and hair maintenance and everything like that. Um, so go to that playlist because it's all together i put it all together for you so you don't have to go scroll through everything there are already two videos in there there might be three depending on when i upload this i'm doing a lot <laughs> i don't know if i'm actually be able to do this but i'm looking forward to going into um some black owned businesses and highlighting some of those on this channel because i mean one everybody is giving all their money to you know corporate businesses and you know they're they, they're black owned but then when they get bigger they don't stay black owned so i always like to you know give the new guy and the underdog you know a chance you know their their moment in the sun so i will be highlighting some black owned businesses i'm and the work is talking to some right now so we're going to see how that goes there are so many businesses out here like clothes and accessories and makeup like literally any other brand out here has a competing black brand um i've seen some really really cool ones that i'm excited and i hope that um i'll be able to get them out to you even if like it's only a couple of videos or anything but they are so 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 cool so stay tuned for that um the hair series will continue and i'll just be popping up and doing random videos every once in a while <laughs> but i love you guys so much i will see you later um and i think that is it all right yeah bye guys